Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on free variable, bound variable, scope of a quantifier in predicate logic. So these are the one of the most important topics in predicate logic in discrete mathematics. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is quantifier, what are the types of quantifier, how we are representing the quantified statements in symbolic form that we are discussed with the three example problems. Please refer that videos for better understanding of quantifiers and types of quantifiers, how we are representing the quantified statements in symbolic form. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what is free variable, what is bound variable and what is the scope of a quantifier. So, these are the points that we are discussed in this video. Okay. Suppose, for example, all men are tall. Okay. All men are tall. Okay. So, this is the given statement. Okay. So, this given statement can be written as So, X is a man. X is a man. Okay. Here in this one, is a man is a predi predicate and X is a subject or a variable. So, it can be represented as m of x. Here m is nothing but predicate that is is a man. x is nothing but subject. Okay. In the same way, so x is tall. x is tall. So here is tall is the predicate. x is the subject. So is tall is the predicate is denoted by capital T. So the subject is here x. Okay, here m of x is nothing but x is a man, t of x is x is a tall. Okay, here we now we have to represent the above statement by using these two proposition functions or a predicate functions. Okay, so here it can be represented as for all x, for all x, if we x is a man, then x is tall. So, x is a man means m of x. x is tall means t of x. If x is a man, then x is tall. What is the connective in between them? That is conditional connective. Okay. So, this is the, uh, this is the statement that can be represented in uh, symbolic form by using universal quantifier. Okay. Here, m of x is nothing but x is the subject and m is the predicate. In the case of t of x, x is the subject and t is the predicate. Okay. Here, uh, what is a bounded variable? Here, the variable is x. An occurrence of a variable that is bounded by either universal quantifier or existential quantifier, then x is called as bounded variable. Here, x is the subject that can be also called as a variable. Okay. Here, in this one, x is the variable. In this one, x is the variable. Okay. So, now, the variable x is bounded by either universal quantifier or existential quantifier. Here in this case, the variable x is bounded by universal quantifier. Then x is called as bounded variable. x is called as bounded variable. Okay. Suppose, for example, m of x conditional t of x. Okay, so this is the symbolic representation of a particular statement. Here, the variable x, okay, the variable x is not bounded by any universal quantifier. Okay, the variable x is not bounded by any 
यूनिवर्सल क्वांटिफायर और एग्जिस्टेंशियल क्वांटिफायर देन एक्स इज कॉल्ड एज ए फ्री वेरिएबल ओके सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फ्री वेरिएबल एंड बाउंड वेरिएबल an occurrence of a variable an occurrence of a variable that is bounded by either universal quantifier or existential quantifier then x is called as a bounded variable okay whereas in the case of free variable an occurrence of a variable that is not bounded by any universal quantifier or existential quantifier then the variable x or subject x is called as a free variable okay so next one what is the scope of a quantifier okay so this is one predicate formula this is one uh, predicate formula and this is also a predicate formula to which a quantifier is applied okay a predicate formula or a the part of the expression to which a quantifier is applied so then it is called as a scope of the quantifier okay so simply we can say that the scope of a quantifier is the the expression that immediately follows the quantifier okay so here this is the quantifier what is the expression immediately followed by the quantifier so here for all x is the universal quantifier this is the uh, expression or predicate formula m of x conditional p of x okay so the predicate formula that immediately followed by the universal quantifier so then that is called as a scope of a quantifier here the scope of a universal quantifier is the predicate formula immediately followed by the universal quantifier so then it is called as a scope of the quantifier okay here scope of the universal quantifier is m of x conditional t of x okay so the scope of a quantifier is the formula immediately following the quantifier this is the universal quantifier what is the predicate formula immediately followed by the universal quantifier m of x conditional t of x so now m of x conditional t of x is the scope of the quantifier that is universal quantifier okay for example uh, for all for all x there exist y so m of x conditional t of y suppose uh, this is there for all x there exist y m of x conditional t of y okay so what is the scope of the universal quantifier the scope of the universal quantifier is m of x conditional t of y okay there exist y m of x conditional t of y this is the scope of the universal quantifier what is the scope of the existential quantifier m of x conditional t of y okay here this is the universal quantifier the expression that immediately followed by the universal quantifier is called as scope of the quantifier there exist y m of x conditional t of y what is the scope of the the existential quantifier is so the expression immediately follow the quantifier is m of x conditional t of y okay so the simply we can say that what is free variable an occurrence of a variable that is not bounded by any quantifier either a universal quantifier or a existential quantifier then it is called as a free variable here in this case the variable x is not bounded with any quantifier so hence the variable x is called as a universal quantifier okay variable x is also called here is subject okay subject or a object or a variable okay so the variable x is not bounded with any quantifier either a universal quantifier or a existential quantifier then x is called as a bounded variable okay x is called as a free variable okay here in this case 
the variable the occurrence of a variable is uh, bounded with uh, a universal quantifier then the variable x is called as a bounded variable here the variable x is not bounded with any quantifier either a universal quantifier or a existential quantifier then x is called as a free variable here in this case the variable x is bounded with a universal quantifier then x is called as a bounded variable okay now what is the scope of a quantifier the scope of a quantifier is the form predicate formula immediately following the universal quantifier okay for example this is the universal quantifier this is called as predicate formula okay the predicate formula immediately followed by the quantifier is called as scope of the quantifier here the quantifier is a uh, universal quantifier what is the scope of the quantifier the formula which immediately followed by the universal quantifier so that is the scope of the universal quantifier is m of x conditional t of x okay so this is the description about the uh, free variable bound variable and scope of the quantifier